Today we're looking at a fantastic new onboarding feature inside of a new theme called Ollie. However, there's one problem. WordPress.org won't list it. On one hand, you might think this is a no-brainer. Look how refined and intuitive this experience is. Of course, WordPress would want something as great as this in the repository. On the other hand, approving this way of delivering themes could set off a firestorm of ways that the theme authors could abuse, and this method could lead users down an even worse experience. Let's take a look at what makes Ollie such a controversial theme right now. Right into the future of WordPress with Ollie. You can download Ollie at ollywp.com. The link will be in the description below. As I mentioned, made by veteran theme author Mike McAllister. I interviewed him on my Matt Report podcast about seven years ago, hoping to have him back to chat about Ollie and building out this new theme. Um, a lot of praise been going around the WordPress Twitter sphere these days about this theme. A lot of people like it. A lot of people are enjoying the cleanliness for a, uh, or the advancements, the cleanliness of design, uh, the advancements of design uh, with this block based full site editing theme. Of course, uh, design is subjective. So if you like this kind of modern approach, you're probably going to really like uh, Ollie. Okay. You can download it by clicking on download. It says WordPress.org is coming soon, but you can download the zip directly from here or check it out on GitHub or do neither of those things and just view the demo right in the browser if you want. In today's video, we're going to focus strictly on this new onboarding experience um, for Ollie, which is getting the sort of pushback from the WordPress.org uh, theme repo team. And I'm sort of just still stuck in the middle uh, on this one. I, I really can't go either way because I can see both sides of it. So right here on the screen, we have the onboarding screen that Mike designed. And let's just like start from the broad brushstrokes. It's sort of built right into that WordPress experience. It's right in the full site editor uh, view pane, if you will, right? This is where you see most of your full site editing components. It feels very familiar um, and it's right inside uh, of WordPress. So naturally you feel like it's not a whole new experience. It's not like we're taking them outside of WordPress, which would obviously be something that WordPress wouldn't accept. Um, and when we go to the setup wizard, this is where it starts to feel like, okay, this is, this is something I, I've not used before in a free WordPress theme on the repo built into the theme. A lot of these other multi-purpose themes, uh, a Cadence, a Generate Press, even an Elementor, they have these more uh, fully fleshed out experiences because they have a pro plugin that's attached to them. A lot of that stuff happens off of WordPress.org uh, because you're purchasing this theme and you're getting a premium plugin alongside of it. It has all this other functionality. And that's what WordPress.org is saying, is saying, look, if you build something like this, there's much more technical overhead, number one, and two, that really opens up potential floodgates for theme authors to do stuff that isn't so nice uh, with, with users from, you know, basic stuff where, hey, this experience wasn't really great and it makes it feel like WordPress was uh, disjointed there. Or you're going to do this thing where you're starting to install other plugins, you're starting to do affiliate things, and the whole world of WordPress themes and plugins uh, needs an investigative journalist <laughs> to go in and see like where the money's being made and what theme authors and plugin authors are doing. So I have a lot of respect for uh, the theme and plugin teams that have to go through um, the paces with these things. So here we are, theme setup. Let's get you started. So we click on let's get you started. And we have color palette, brand color, site icon, taking a lot of those traditional things that you do or did in the customizer or still do if you're using a multi-purpose theme like a cadence, um, taking some of those components and bringing them into this experience. I'm not going to really play with all this stuff because um, you can test this out for yourself. And then creating pages, creating these pages right off, uh, right off the bat. You can check off the homepage, the blog, the about page the features page. Effectively, what Mike has done here is said, hey, look, these are the most common pages that a services, a digital services agency might want, a blogger might want, uh, a new age creator might want, buy a course, subscribe to my blog, that kind of thing. And he's making it sort of quick uh, and accessible as you go through uh, the wizard. So it's going to go ahead and create the pages and continue. And then it's going to prompt you, what do you want on the homepage? Your uh, latest posts or that custom page. We click on custom page. You can pick the Ollie homepage uh, that that you had it create right off 
uh, right off the bat there. So we're going to hit save and continue. A little bit of confetti there. And now you can go to the different points of your page. You might not have noticed, but I haven't moved my hand off of my mouse. And that's the whole point of this onboarding experience is in a typical theme, you're bouncing from the customizer and looking at the pages and then you're putting the patterns on a page. Um, Mike sort of has a little tongue in cheek hook where he says he's saving you 40 hours of page building by, you know, doing this. I mean, it's definitely saving you a couple hours. I can agree on that. Um, and he's sort of done it all with, I've done this with one hand, which is pretty impressive. And you can just visit our site. So when we visit our site, we can see it's already built out. Uh, there's your, get your 40 hour head start and all of those components, uh, or patterns are already loaded. And when we go to edit this page, uh, you can see here that it's right inside uh, and everything is is set up for us to click and start to edit. So that experience, fantastic, yes, but there's a lot of technical overhead behind that, a lot of ways that uh, theme team would have to keep track of how other theme authors you know, do that, injecting the patterns, creating the pages, just going through this general UI. Did Mike do a great job? I think so. Uh, would every author do a great job? Hard to tell. Right. And I think that's the conundrum that the theme review team is in. Um, this is where it, it, it gets a little bit more clear with the how and the why this can be included in a theme or not. He has a video library sort of baked into here. And this is all this is really doing is effectively pulling up a YouTube video for the different uh, components um, that somebody needs to learn about the Ollie theme. Again, super smart. Yes, makes total sense, but not every theme author is going to do that. And then if we're embedding content from YouTube, where else are we embedding content from in, uh, in a theme video library or help section, right? Same goes for the Ollie docs. All of this is built in here. I didn't inspect this to see if this is getting pulled in from another website, um, but he has uh, the Ollie docs built right into this experience. If we go back to the dashboard, we can go to appearance, Ollie, and it's always going to pull up uh, this screen along with the theme setup. So if you want to go through the wizard again, you can do that and change color palettes and inject pages and stuff like that. So I think that this is a very smart approach. It's unfortunate that uh, theme team and possibly plug-in teams have to like look at this and say, do we want this kind of thing in here? Do we not? It's hard to like push something like this away because it's such an advancement and it feels really good for the end user. Um, but it's also troubling because we never know what other theme authors are going to do. So I like where uh, Mike's going uh, with the onboarding experience. Um, I'm not going to dive into using the Ollie theme today or building out pages. I think it's going to react like a lot of uh, other themes that are out there in terms of putting in patterns and adjusting um, you know, the design of a site. Uh, we'll, we'll look at it later. Uh, at a later date. But let me know what you think about uh, the Ollie theme and the onboarding experience. That's it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Should this be built into themes or should it be plugin territory only? Let me know in those comments. Thumbs up if you like today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more and hop on that mailing list at the wpminute.com slash subscribe so you don't miss your favorite five minutes of WordPress every week.